Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do a problem about powers of a matrix. Our problem is just to find, is first to find a formula for the kth power of this matrix C. This is a two by two matrix that depends on variables A and B. And the second part of our problem is to calculate C to the, to the 100th in the special case where A and B are negative 1. OK, you can hit pause now, and I'll give you a minute to do the problem yourself, and then I'll come back and we can do it together. OK, we're back. Now, what's the first step in finding powers of a matrix? Well, we need to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this matrix. So how do we do that? We compute the determinant of C minus lambda i, which is just the determinant of uh, this matrix, 2B minus A minus lambda. 2b minus 2a, a minus b, and 2a minus b minus lambda. OK. If you compute this, well, we have a lambda squared term. OK. Uh, our lambda term, if you look at it, you'll see we get um, 2b minus a plus 2a minus b, which is just a plus b, and we have a negative sign. That's negative a plus b times lambda. And our last term is a little tougher to compute, so I'll let you do it yourself. But you're just going to get plus ab. And this will factor as lambda minus a times lambda minus b. Good. So our eigenvalues are just a and b. Okay. Now we need to find our eigenvectors. So how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is we need to look at c minus a times the identity. And we need to find the uh, null space of this matrix. So what do we get here? We get 2b minus 2a. Uh, and then our next entry here, we get 2a minus b minus a. So this is a minus b. Good. So you can see that this matrix has um, the, same, uh, the same columns and this, the same rows. And so you, you can see that um, a vector in the uh, null space, since this column is uh, negative 2 times this column, we can see that our first eigenvector is just, or 1, 2, I should say, is just 1, 2. Good. Now, um, well, I guess we have space to uh, do the second one, too. Why not? Let's, so, so let's write out the uh, second one also. Um, here we're subtracting b instead of a. Get b minus a. Get 2b minus 2a. We get a minus b. And what do we have here? We have 2a minus 2b. OK. So now what's, what's in the null space of this matrix? Well, what you, you can see is that this um, is that uh, this 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 column is negative one times that column. So our second eigenvector is just going to be one one. Okay. And I should remind you that if you have a harder example, you can just find these null spaces by elimination, like we always do. Great. Now we have our eigenvalues and our eigenvectors. So now we can write C in a nice, easy way that allows us to take powers of it. 
So what's that way? So that's um, C equals S lambda S inverse, right? So this is just what is S, remember? S is our matrix of eigenvectors. So S is the matrix 1, 2, 1, 1. Good. Now what is lambda? Lambda is the matrix of eigenvalues, right? So it's just A and B. Those are my, the diagonal entries of my lambda matrix. And then we just find S inverse. So we just take negative signs here and recall that we have to divide by 1 over, or we have to div divide by the determinant, and the determinant of this matrix is just negative 1. So we just change the F signs there. Good. So this is, this is our nice decomposition of C. Now how do we take powers of C? Well, C to the K is just S lambda to the K, S inverse, right? 1, 1, 2, 1, A to the K, B to the K, negative 1, 1, 2, negative 1. Good. And uh, multiplying these matrices to together, just do a little arithmetic here. Get a bunch of powers of A and B because we take powers of the eigenvalues. We have here, we have 2B to the K minus A to the K have um, a to the k minus b to the k have 2b to the k uh, minus 2a to the k. And finally, we get 2a to the k minus b to the k. And this is our kth power matrix. Good. A quick check, it's always good to uh, check your uh, work here. Let's plug in k equals 1. And what do we get? We get 2b minus a, a minus b, 2b minus 2a, and 2a minus b. And if we can go all the way back to our matrix at the very beginning, all the way back here, that agrees perfectly with what we started with. So that's good. That means that we did this decomposition, right? Good. So now we've computed the kth power of this matrix. Let's do a, um, a particular example. So let's plug in a and b are minus 1. So a equals b equals minus 1, and k equals 100. Then what do we get? Well, minus 1 to the 100th is just 1. So we're just plugging in 1 for b to the k and a to the k everywhere. And we just get, uh, in this case, c to the 100th is just, well, 1, 0, 0, 1. It's just the identity matrix. Great. Great. OK, now to, to summarize, how do we take powers of a matrix? Well, first we diagonalize. We write our matrix as S lambda S inverse. And then we just take powers of the diagonal matrix.